everyone this is dia from academy this video is a third episode about examples of matrix space today we will see what is a discrete matrix space so let's start so the definition for the matrix discrete matrix space is it would take any non empty set x and define a function d from x square x to r where we take a pair from this let's say x and y so we've defined the function such that if the two values if the two elements from the x are same then the function maps it to zero and if the two elements of x are not same then the function maps it to one so there are only two possible values for the function zero and one now the target is we have to prove that function d as a matrix so as you know we have to prove three conditions for being d as a matrix so let's start proving this so the first property is that the function is always greater than or equal to 0 if the function is equal to 0 then this implies that the two values are same as the function d is defined it is obvious that d has only two values 0 or 1 so there is no possibility for the negative value because if the values are same then we only get 0 and the values are different then we only get 1 so there are no any possibility for the negative value so now moving toward the other part that function is equal to 0 then x is equal to y so if d of x y is equal to 0 so d of x and y it will let this then by this the function definition it states that x is equal to y so this is also true by the definition of the function so the second condition is about symmetry if d of x y is equal to d of y x so d of x y is equal to 0 if x is equal to y then we know that d of y x is also equal to 0 because of the definition of the function but if d of x y is equal to 1 if x is not equal to y then the same goes for d of y x is equal to 1 because x is not equal to y so this is again by definition the function is true that the function has symmetry in it now i'm moving toward the third property the third property is about the triangular inequality that is the function has value x y must be smaller than the function value x z plus the function at value z y so by using the definition of the function if x is not equal to y then d x y is equal to 1 and d of x z is also equal to 1 d of z y is also equal to 1 so putting these values in this inequality we get 1 is smaller than 1 plus 1 and 1 is smaller than or equal to 2 so this is obvious result and this is also obvious if we take x is equal to y so the function has d of x y where x is equal to y gets 0 and same goes for this where x is equal to z and same goes for this when z equal to y 0 and 0 so we get 0 is smaller than or equal to 0 so this is also a true inequality because there is a smaller than or equal to sign here so this implies that this triangular inequality is also true for all values of x and finally x d is a matrix space this space is called discrete matrix space this matrix d that is known as discrete matrix is also known as a trivial matrix as well so this is for now you looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye